Hey guys, welcome again to another travel video here on our channel. Today we're going to be showing you Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We had an amazing time in KL. We want to bring you this series of all the time that we spent there in KL. So this is going to be a three part series of KL and this is going to be as part of our series of traveling throughout Asia and we've already brought you the videos for how we got to Singapore and then the time we spent in Singapore. So make sure you go watch those videos after watching this video. Basically, we're gonna have three parts. Part one is first day that we spent in Kuala Lumpur, arrival and everything else. Part two is gonna be day two, day three together. Part three is gonna be day three and day four. Also, what we're gonna do as a bonus is bring you some hotel reviews of where we stayed while we were there in KL. So you'll be able to actually have that individual uh, hotel and the review of that hotel. So that way, if you're going there, you actually have a place to stay and you know where to go. Again, these videos are not sponsored. So we wanna be able to provide you with a real review of our time in Kuala Lumpur and the hotels that we stayed in. If this is the first time that you actually found us, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And for those who have been with us, thank you again. And we really appreciate you being with us since the beginning of our channel. So again, if you're new here on our channel, we provide travel tips, we provide reviews for hotels, review for flights, and then just the travel adventures that we usually experience when we travel. And we provide tips on what to avoid, what to do, how you can be able to travel safely. In addition, we provide tips on how you can save money when you're traveling and still maximize your time during your trip. If this is something that interests you, be sure to actually smack that subscribe button. And if this video is something that you really enjoy watching, be sure that you actually hit the like button and share with many other friends. So I'm super excited about this video. So let's get going with part one of Kuala Lumpur. So we just landed in Kuala Lumpur and we're gonna go through immigration and customs and then go to the hotel. We finally made it, went through immigration, it took about an hour just to go through immigration, but we're here and ready to go to the city. Thank you. Checking? This is the Mandarin Hotel and the views are amazing. This is where our bedroom is. You got a TV and you're gonna see the views in a second. Working area, nice couch. And you have clock. And here's the bathroom. If we can figure out the lighting. Okay, as on the bathroom you have this, shower, and you have vanity here, just everything is just so chic, oh my goodness, and then you have the toilet space, but there's no door in the toilet space, 
This is pretty cool. Right now we're here at the Batu Cave Temple. Um, so it takes steps for you to be able to get up here. Um, there's a lot of steps. But once you're here, you get to see all this. So the cave itself is here. You can see all that. And then there's more up there. So we're gonna try to go all the way up there. One thing to remember is that for uh, females, you have to be wearing long pants. If you're not wearing long pants, you're wearing shorts or long skirt. If you're not wearing anything long, you have to pay 15 uh, Malaysian ringgit um, for you to be able to get uh, one of those scarves similar to what my wife is wearing. And then also be careful because there's a lot of monkeys here and a lot of birds. Watch out for monkeys, watch out for uh, bird poops, but it's definitely a sight that you must see here. So again, it's very humid here as well. So we're sweating, but as you can see the cave part is over there. So really cool place if you want to check it out. And also be careful or be aware that there's like roosters running around here and pigeons. So yeah, a lot of them. And if you stay quiet, you can actually hear all the pigeons and the roosters. So the question is, how far is Batu Cave from the main area of Kuala Lumpur? Uh, it's actually anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes uh, by cab. And this really depends on the time of the day, if there's traffic or not. Uh, and it will cost you anywhere between 27 uh, ringgit to about 45. And really depends on the time of the, of the day and the traffic, the way it is. Uh, but also you can take a train from the city to here but that takes about 50 to 55 minutes uh, really so just be mindful of that uh, the best way to get a taxi uh, will be either to stand outside of your hotel area or the mall and then just call for one or you can actually have a grab app and that app you can actually order a taxi so similar to using uber uh, in places where uber exists so is this a place that I will come? Yes, I mean, I'm here. This is my fourth time actually coming here to Batu Cave. So every time I've been here in Malaysia, I've actually visited uh, Batu Cave. So 
definitely recommend to check it out. Just bring your walking shoes, sneakers, so that way you're not too tired uh, to walk up these steps. So right now we are at Jalan Alor, which is a crazy street food here. It goes all the way back there. You can actually uh, just look around the food and then order what you want. So definitely a place I recommend coming if you're looking for a place to eat. It's a little bit touristy, but it's still a great place to, to come and eat. So we just hit the night market and look at this. Are you guys kidding me? Look at this food we got here. We got rice noodles with shrimp. Oh man, this is gonna be amazing. We're now here at the night market where they actually have a lot of vendors selling food all over the place here, as you can see back there. Um, it's a crazy street, great food, amazing, uh, just all sorts of variety. And you can see that what we're showing to you. So this is definitely a place we recommend checking out in Kuala Lumpur, especially for the night market time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If this was something that you enjoy watching, be sure that you actually hit the like button. See you on the next video, which is part two of this series.